The first and the most terrifying of them is the biggest path you can see in your life. Do you know that the bat is the only mammal that is available to fly? Yes, the bat is that creature that many people are afraid of. For many reasons, the most important of which is its shape. In addition to, of course, many imaginary stories that link it to vampires who are able to suck the blood of their victims until the last drop in their bodies. Bats are one of the most terrifying mammals that you will ever see in your life. A mysterious and a dark loving creature that spends all day sleeping, hanging from its legs in the ceiling of caves or tree branches. And it wakes up all night to feed on fruits and insects or the blood of other creatures. Here we will see the biggest and the most terrifying of them which is flying fox bat. Then we will learn about another four types of bats that are unbelievable. The first and the most terrifying of them is the biggest bat you can see in your life. The flying fox bat. The flying fox is one of the largest creatures that you can see flying in the air. It's found in the tropics Australia and some islands in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Its weak span is about 2 meters, its length is about 1.5 meters, and its weight is 700 grams. The adult bat can reach up to 1 kilogram. The male is larger than the female. This bat, if you focus on its facial features and body shape, you will see it exactly resembles a fox. Despite its terrifying shape, it feeds mainly at night on fruits. This explains why they are so abundant in tropical regions. Although there are about 65 different types of flying bats, they are threatened with extinction for two reasons. The first is that the trade of this type of bats became very flourishing and bat meat has become one of the luxury dishes that are served in many countries. Some countries believe that their meat cures some diseases such as asthma. As for the local farmers, they believe that this type of bat is a danger to their future because it eats any fruits they grow. So the farmers started killing them. This animal is distinguished by its large bright eyes and its acrobatic movements. But what if you see it at night? Imagine with me if you come out of your apartment door and in front of you you found a bat in the size of a man hanging from the ceiling of the door. Of course it will make you feel scared. This picture was taken in the Philippines by one of the people. When he back home, he found the bat stuck in the ceiling of his house. Now, the second and the smallest one. The bat that catches fish. If you think that man is the only creature capable of catching fish, or you think that bats don't like water, this bat will prove to you the mistake of your belief that it can fish better than some humans although it's less than 4 cm long and weighs only 10 grams. This species lives in areas with high humidity such as areas extending from Mexico to northern Argentina. It's known as a big-eyed bat. It has short hair all over his body except the area around his head and shoulders. And to differentiate between females and males, 
we find that the hair color of the chest area in males is between orange and red, while in females we find it between gray and brown. Can this bat swim? No, it can't. But the question now, how can it catch the fish? The answer is, this bat has long legs that allow it to hunt what appears on the surface of the water and what passes underwater, whether it's an insect or a small fish. This is the opposite of what the scientists believed that this bat has a special ability to determine the location of his prey. The third one is the hammer-headed bat. Yes, as you expected, the face of this bat is very similar to small hammers and it's also characterized by large lips and its body has no hair at all except little hair under the two lips and if you ask me why it has a head like this the answer is in a simplified way that the parts responsible for making sounds are larger than those of the rest of the other pets and extend from the middle of their chest to their throat which explains the strength of their voice. Its length is approximately 20 cm and the distance between its wings is 90 cm and this size is considered the largest in Africa and unlike many pads, it doesn't live in caves and it eats only fruits. If you are a resident of the tropics in Africa or if you are planning to visit it it may be better for you to avoid leaving a fruit on the table with the window open. The fourth is the long-eared bat. You know that the rabbit known with the long ears, but what if you know that there is a type of bat that also has long ears? This type is known as the long-eared bat, an expected name. It's believed that there are four species of this type. What distinguishes this type of bat is the length of its ears, which may reach 4 cm in length. Although this length may seem small to you, it was enough to consider it the owner of the longest ears compared to the rest of its species. And as funny information around it, it's able to hide its ears whenever the temperature drops or the cold wind blows. The long-eared bat lives in the eastern Mediterranean, southern and central Europe, and as the opposite of the path of Putus, it hates the cold. This bat doesn't find it difficult to take anywhere for its dwelling, even if in trees next to squirrels. But, surprisingly, it tends to inhabit human places such as buildings, bridges and lanes. If you live near one of them, you may meet a bat of this type, which at first look seems kind, but you will not know what it can do while you are unheaded. The fifth one is the bat with mouse ears. When contemplating the shape and features of a bat, it's difficult to deny the belief that there is a relationship between it and the mouse. They have similar features, as if they are from the same family. This type is called the pietus. It has ears that resemble the ears of the mouse, in addition to the shape of its head. It's considered one of the largest bats that has a sharp voice. Its weight ranges between 30 and 40 grams and has brown hair. It can be also with bright gray hair. This type is widespread between Europe, Asia, and North Africa, and it's found in dark and warm places, such as old caves and churches. It hates the cold. According to the fossils that were found, this species is about 2 million years ago. Oh, it's not new, but the reason for not paying attention to its existence that it was isolated in groups in scattered places of the world 
during the Ice Age in North Africa and Southern Asia before it returns to spread as soon as green spaces spread along the coasts of the Mediterranean Sea, where it found in the fruits of its trees what it needed. Despite this, it doesn't stop hunting its prey at night, in the air or on the ground. Among its most known prey, locusts and large ladybirds. If you want to catch one of them, now you know where to find them and what they like to eat. At the end of the video, the pad is a very dangerous animal and is the main way for transmitting many viruses to human. Last of them was Corona for example. And sure, we all heard our ancestors warn us about it. There was an old saying of our ancestors that said, if a pad is about to hit, it will only come out with drums.